Hey, welcome back everybody to No Meat Eats. Today we're going to be doing something super simple, but absolutely delicious. And the ingredients that we're going to be using today, you'll be able to find at any grocery store, even with everything going on today. So let's go ahead and get started. So the ingredients are super simple. As I was saying, you're going to be able to find these at any grocery store. Um, I can't speak for overseas, but I can tell you um, here in the U.S. So we're going to be using purple onion, fresh ch chopped, fresh spinach, red bell pepper, fresh chopped, um, hemp seed as always, ground uh, flax seed, and I chopped up here some mango, fresh chopped garlic, and um, chipotle. Um, I actually took it out uh, from a can, uh, so that's like the juice right there. We're going to be using some oatmeal from uh, Mula. And of course, one of my favorite is the Beyond Patties. This will be our meat and tortillas. These are, uh, uh, there are no animal products in this. So basically today, as you can see, we're gonna be doing a burrito. I'm gonna make a quick salsa. I'm gonna throw that in there. These are, this is so simple. This is stuff you can do right at home, all right? Now with the chipotle, depending on how spicy you want it, um, you put it as you want, as much as you want, and then taste it as you go along. That way it's not too spicy. I'm using the oat milk for that cream, um, that creamy texture. All right, I'm mix that in there. Now, you know when you use actual cream, you know, it looks really good. I like the chunks of mango. Uh, what you can do is you actually put it in a blender and that uh, salts it up. It's, it's good like that too. All right, today I'm gonna put a little avocado oil. I'm not gonna actually use the liquid. I'm gonna use a spray on right here. Avocado oil spray. Be generous with it. All right, my flame's a little high, so let me turn that down. All right, saute these onions. Peppers. I'm going to throw in the spinach last because it cooks pretty quick. Alright, now you're not going to get these onions super tender, uh, but you want to get that bitterness out, so just saute them a little bit. Make sure your flame isn't too high. We'll turn this pan off in a bit, but I have the pan way too high. Alright, you can see those onions browning there. If you can, try to let them thaw out. We didn't get a chance to let these thaw out. pretty quick. So thaw it out if you can. See it's already breaking off. You see that? If this was meat, actual beef, you wouldn't be doing this right now. You know I went in and out from veg veg veg, veg excuse me vegetarian to vegan and um, but when I decided that I was gonna go plant-based um, and I was educating myself on how to eat vegan I came across a lot of informative videos and uh, articles online uh, that discuss factory farming. And before, I had no idea what these animals were going through. And it made it super easy to make the decision to, uh, to go vegan. And you see I pass it over to, uh, to this end. All right, so now I'm gonna throw in the spinach. All right, when I make these burritos, you can do it, but I don't. I don't add any salt because the Beyond, it has enough sodium in it already, so I don't add salt to it. 
again, that's personal preference. I'm eating the food the way I would eat it, but you don't have to eat it like that. All right, so now we're gonna throw in this fresh chopped garlic that I had. Now, I, I, I didn't want the garlic sauteed. You can saute it. I, I, like, I like the taste of garlic, so I didn't want it overcooked. All right, so I'm gonna throw in that tablespoon of flaxseed and two tablespoons of um, the hemp seed. The garlic was one little uh, one little clove. Mix that in there towards the end. Now with the uh, Beyond Burgers, there was two in there. There's plenty of protein. Um, so you don't need the hemp seed. If your protein is your goal, you don't need it in this one. It's plenty of protein. And you can smell that garlic, so it's gonna be good. It's not gonna be, um, it tends to take a, you can taste the garlic when you cook it, but it's not as potent when you cook it. So I'm putting it towards the end because I want the garlic. I want to uh, introduce myself when I walk into a room without saying hi, because you tend to smell the person who eats a lot of garlic. I didn't clean off this pan. Throw this tortilla on that Beyond Meat pan. Clean that off. Ooh. Coconut oil, baby. Mm. Damn, look how pretty that looks. All right, don't put too much. This is why. You can make more than one. All right, there's eight grams of protein in each tortilla. But when you put too much, affects how it looks when you roll it. Alright, and I'll show you why. So look, look that nice little neat burrito. Alright, so that one's almost coming along. You want to look at it and you want it to get that crunch. So we're almost getting there. So you get a little while longer. So as you can see, we got about three burritos, roughly the same size in all of them. So you mean you you can easily feed three people, guarantee two people with a fat burrito, all right? So we'll go ahead and cut this one open, see if you hear it. Ooh, you hear that? Crunch. Look at that. Mmm. All right. So just being a nice party tray here. All right, so this is where we're gonna add our fresh homemade salsa. You can put it inside. I like to put it on top, because I just like the way it looks. All right, and then while you're eating it, I'm salivating already, you can always dip it. All right, so there you go. All right, so right here in the salsa, you have your mango chipotle with oat milk. So that's gonna be your salsa over there. And then you can, it's basically a Beyond Burger uh, patty uh, burrito. And I mean, it's delicious, I'm telling you. So let me go ahead and get a taste test of this. You ready? All right. This is my own, so if I was eating at home, I'm spread that around on there and see how it goes. That garlic, oh my god. That garlic is delish. Delish. Alright. One more bite, hold on. Mmm. Why eat meat? When you have this, who's the best? Look at that. I mean, look at this, look how good that is. Take a look at that. Those onions, caramelized. Everything is just tender, it's just great. I mean, it's just, it's amazing, man. All right, everybody. Well, that's it. That's basically your Beyond Meat, um, Beyond Meat Patty Burrito. Simple and easy, like I told you it would be. Everything that you see here, you're gonna be able to find at the store. You don't have to go to specifically, you don't have to specifically use the tortillas I use, but you can find tortillas. You can even do tacos. 
All right, these I chose because they're uh, vegan and the um, you get eight grams of protein per tortilla. So if you're looking for the protein as well as the uh, Beyond Meat. Hope you enjoy the burrito. If you do make this or something, something similar, please leave comments. Also, when you view this video, please, please comment. Offer suggestions. If there's something you want me to make, I'm, I'd be more than happy to make it. That way I'm not sitting there trying to come up with ideas on what I should make for the next um, recording. So if you do make this, go ahead and uh, tell me what you think about it. Uh, leave a comment below. Also, if you have any suggestions on what you would like me to make or try uh, to make, I'd be more than happy to do that. That way I'm not over here trying to find out or decide on what I want to make for the next uh, recording. So, all right, enjoy.